Hello, today we are going to solve some questions from ISS 2019 paper 2. So the first question is question number 13. In this question we are given that let x be a random variable which follows normal mu comma sigma square where mu and sigma square both are unknown constants. Then uh, which one of the following is a simple hypothesis we need to find. We are given four options. The first option says that mu is equals to mu naught and sigma square is equals to sigma naught square is not equals to sigma naught square the option b says that mu is equals to mu naught and sigma square is equals to sigma naught square the option c says that mu is greater than mu naught and sigma square is equals to sigma naught square and the last option is mu is equals to mu naught and sigma square is less than sigma naught square where mu naught and sigma naught square both are known okay now uh, by the definition we know that script theta naught or script theta 1 script theta naught or script theta 1 let me write it more clearly script theta naught or script theta 1 is said to be simple hypothesis if if it contains only one point otherwise we called it composite Now, let's see the first option. In this option, mu is equals to mu naught, but sigma square is not equals to sigma naught square. Therefore, this is not a simple hypothesis as the sigma square doesn't contains only one point. Now, the option B is mu is equals to mu naught and sigma square a is equals to sigma naught square this must be the correct option as this hypothesis contains only one point which is mu naught and sigma naught square therefore our correct answer is sigma, the option b as it is a mcq type question therefore we there is no need to check the other options but for convenience we check the other options also the option c which is mu is greater than mu naught and sigma square is equals to sigma naught square in this case we can see that mu doesn't contains only one point and the last option d which is mu is equals to mu naught comma sigma square is less than sigma naught square in this case we also see that the sigma square doesn't contains only one point therefore it is pretty much obvious that the option b is the correct one let's see another question so this is the next question which is the question number 16 in this question we are asked that to obtain the critical region or cutoff point in testing a statistical hypothesis we need the distribution of test statistic under h0 whether it is without any assumption or under h1 or all of these above so we need to find the correct one in this among these given four options And the correct answer is the option A, which is the under H naught. Okay. As we know that if we, uh, if we have a uh, hypothesis testing like this, if sum over xi greater than k is zero otherwise, then the value of k can be obtained using the size of the testing problem which is probability under h0 sum over xi greater than k which is equals to alpha therefore it is pretty much obvious that if we want a testing hypothesis or a testing problem 
therefore we need the distribution of the test statistic under each node so the correct option will be the option a which is under each node so that's all for today thank you very much